everybody. Uh, this is Rob, and we're doing the news live from Cannes, and we're so lucky to have Kate Alessi, who is Managing Director of YouTube Solutions, with us today. Yeah, Thank great you. to be here. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. And uh, yeah, so great. So, so how are you enjoying Cannes so far? It's been amazing. I mean, it's really the one moment of the year when we can connect with so many people across our industry and talk about really important topics like the one we'll talk about today. Yeah. Um, so it's just amazing. And it's always fun to come to France and be in Cannes and enjoy the life here. So really great. great. Awesome. Awesome. And what do you, if the like, top one or two things you want to accomplish while you're here? Oh, top one or two things. Um, you know, so I, you know, one of the things we'll talk about today is really how we think about brand safety and suitability. Mm -hmm. And I think the industry as a whole has moved forward so much over the course of the last three to five years. And so I'm thrilled to have these conversations, to have them take place across many of our partners as well, and mm -hmm. hear it really becoming sort of critical to the industry overall. Um, so hoping to continue to advance that conversation. Um, we're also doing a number of conversations around cross media audience measurement, mm -hmm. um, and that is critically important for how we think about the industry and the platform. Um, so really hoping to have those conversations with many of our other partners. Got it. So specifically about suitability. I mean, YouTube has always been a leader, uh, YTMP program, bringing in partners. Talk about any latest evolutions of how you're thinking about suitability today. Yeah, sure. So, um, you know, you know, well, we think about brand safety, which is table stakes, and then we think about suitability. Um, and as it relates specifically to suitability, you know, we're super excited about the progress that we've made over the last two years in terms of really helping advertisers make sure they're able to make sure the content that they're running in is really suitable for their platform. Um, so last year we announced the launch of our content suitability center, mm -hmm. which is really the first time that not just for YouTube, but for Google overall, brands can really come and set their controls. And that is really amazing to enable an advertiser to come onto our platform mm -hmm. across Google and really look into the different options they have as it relates to content controls mm -hmm. and think about really how broad do they want to go. And so there's three different modes that they can choose from and they can use that as a starting point and then expand from there with more and more controls. And, and what, so, yeah. So what's the feedback been? Uh, I mean, the it's, feedback's it's, been amazing. Yeah. I mean, I think brands are so happy to be able to really understand and have more control over where their ads will run across the platform. Um, so we've been thrilled, you know, we really built the core content suitability center and then the product that we just launched at GML is called Estimated Impact. Mm -hmm. And that now helps advertisers understand when they start to use these controls, what is the impact on reach as well as cost? And that is critically important because that was a bit of a black box in the sense that, of course, you'd like to have more controls. But what is the trade-off you're making between those controls and your ability to drive outcomes for your brand? Yeah. And so now, really, between the Content Suitability Center and Estimated Impact, you know, we spent over two years developing these based on feedback from advertisers. And so we're really happy that we've been able to deliver a product that really meets the needs that we've heard from them time and time again to really help them better manage their campaigns. No, I mean, that's important because all these things are initiatives that don't mean anything if you can't get performance out of them as exactly. an advertiser. So really to be able to help the advertisers understand the performance side of the suitability conversation yeah. uh, is great. So congrats on that. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's very thank cool. you. Very cool. Thank you. So we've been thinking a lot about calendar year 2023. It's six months in. Uh, a lot of stuff's happened. Is 2023 the year of brand safety or brand suitability? What do you think is, but brand safety being the big word? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, brand safety is critical. It's table stakes. Um, you know, we work all day, every day, to make sure that the ads that we're showing on our platform um, deliver on a level of brand safety that our advertisers expect of us. Yep. Um, you know, when you think about it, this being the year, I would say it's been the year for many years now as we've been on this journey, and it's a journey that we will continue to make foremost um, in our efforts for YouTube in particular. Um, you know, we're really proud of the work that we've done over the last many years to make sure we have proper accreditation within the industry. Um, we just received a letter that gave us a third year of accreditation on our content safety controls, which is something we're incredibly proud of, um, along with a few other brands in our industry. And so we think it's so important to make sure that across our platform, um, we first and foremost ensure a safe platform for both our viewers as well as brands. 
Um, and you know, I think we were just talking about AI. You know, I think AI will do amazing things with generative AI. I think there's also a material risk around the content that will get uploaded on our platform as well as many other platforms. And I'm so proud of all the work that we've done over the many years leading up till now to ensure that we have the best systems that we can imagine to help us detect and understand the content that's coming on the platform to really help ensure that we can keep the platform as safe as we can um, for our users. Do you think, you know, uh, because we're talking about AI and, 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 and things getting uploaded and, and being concerned, have you thought about yet what the guardrails might look like, like what specifically you might be concerned about in terms of people uploading, or is it too early? You know, I think we have a very robust set of policies mm -hmm. um, that we continually evolve and develop. And so we're always looking to make sure our policies are addressing the needs of the moment. And yep. so this is something we're currently working on um, to make sure we have the right set of policies and guardrails um, to ensure that when content is uploaded, both our human reviewers as well as our technology know what to be looking for to make sure that we can pull that down as quickly as possible. Yeah. And so I know creativity, where you yeah. can, Right? Of course. So creativity of course. is something else that, that is a top of mind for you. So think yep. about, uh, talk to me about creativity and some of the things you have going on. Sure, sure. So of course, across YouTube, across Google, you know, we're continually, continually investing in building tools to help advertisers and creators on our platform better express themselves through the advertising that they're building or through the content that they're creating and uploading on the platform. And so, of course, here at Can, we're hearing a ton about the role of AI. And at Google, we're really thrilled about the work we've been doing over the past seven years since Sundar sort of declared we'd be an AI first company, but even before that, mm -hmm. to really think about how can we create better tools to enable greater expressions of creativity. And so across CAN, through many of the talks and installations and product showcases you'll see, you'll see different ways that we're really using AI within our tools to help enable greater creativity. And I think we're just at the tipping point on this. And there's so much more coming from Google, but also you know, many of the brands here at CAN are showing tons of really interesting different ways to use AI to really create a meaningful impact, which ultimately, hopefully, makes better ads, which makes a better ecosystem. Yeah. Um, so I think it's exciting. Yeah, it's totally exciting. So quick question, a AI, underhyped, overhyped, right level of hyped, what do you think? I mean, it is really hyped, but I would say it's totally warranted. Yeah. You know, I mean, I think it is the most profound technology any of us have worked on in our lifetimes. And I think that the role that it will have will be incredible. Um, across all facets of life. And you know, I think back to when I didn't have a mobile phone and what the world looked like, this will be equally as game changing, I yeah. think. And you know, I have three young kids and thinking about the world they will grow up in with this technology is pretty extraordinary. Um, you know, I think it'll be like them looking back and imagining our lives without a phone. I think it'll be similar for them when they have their kids, which is exciting. So 2024, will there be a can lions for AI based creative? I think there will. There gotta should be, right? Be. right? Be. I mean, yeah. Can't, somebody said, I can't believe they haven't tried to shoehorn one in. <laughs> Yes. It's sort of true. Yeah, right. yeah, I think they probably set the agenda so long ago they couldn't, but, but they, you know, they have a lot of interesting talks um, yeah. related to the topic. So I think for sure they would have something next year. Yeah. Well, anyway, thank you so much. This yeah. is great and thank exciting you. And, and, and great to be partners. And, uh, yeah, really you know. appreciate your time. Yeah, yeah same here. This was same great. Here. All right, thanks everybody. That's the news. Thanks so much.